Today we are going to learn how to code students that are English learners correctly in PowerSchool. It's important to have this information coded correctly so that your students are and your data are reflected correctly when it is pulled. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the PowerSchool homepage and you're going to type in your student's last name and then first name and pull up your student. So in this case, I have a test student. So now we are on the home screen and the next thing that we need to do is go to the state province link and that is on the left-hand side in this toolbar right here, state province. I'm going to click there. From here, the next page we need to navigate to is the South Carolina Student Information page, and that is right here. Click on that. And the first thing that you're going to see is the English proficiency. This needs to be filled out for every student in your school, not just your students that are involved um, in the, or are English language learners. It also needs to be um, completed for students that have England, English as their native language. So um, you would select your code based on their assessment. Students who have English as their native language are going to be coded as a 9 or English speaker 2. So I'm going to click that and save. If this student um, was not an English speaker too, if they were a different, so let's say they're a level one, then you would need to fill out the other information about their primary language, language for communication, and written communication. Also their first language spoken. At, once you've entered all of this information, you need to go to the bottom of the page and make sure that you click Submit. It's a very simple process, but it needs to be done for each and every one of your students in your school. More information on this can be found on our website under English Language Learners.